everyone, this is Julie from Designs by Juju, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use our BX fonts with your Brilliant software. So let's get started. Here, I am. the first thing you're going to do is log into your account and download your font. You need to download to your designated folder and then unzip your file so that you can see all of your designs. In this video, I'm going to download the Whimsy Curls embroidery font and show you how to install it into Embrilliance and then uh, use it to type a name as a keyboard font. This is very um, simple and so convenient for those of you who use uh, text and lettering a lot in embroidery. You otherwise, without a keyboard font, you would have to take each individual embroidery file, each individual letter, and merge it into your software one by one. But Embrilliance makes it easy with the BX files that you can drop them into the user interface and then use the font and just type out a name or a sentence um, on your keyboard. Now, in Brilliance, you want to go to embrilliance.com and then click on the left hand side for downloads and download the program for either your Mac or Windows, whichever you use. And Brilliance offers a free express, express version of the software. You just download one of these versions and then to open it, you're going to click on the program to open it. And the first thing, if you have not purchased it and you don't have a serial number, in order to get to the free express version, you just leave that blank and click done. It will open your software and then you'll get this pop-up box that says that the program is running in express mode. So it will save your it will save designs and fonts. However, most of the program features will not be available. That means that the free express version you may not use to modify your embroidery designs, merge applique designs, um, merge text with your applique designs, etc. You would need to purchase Embrilliance Essentials which I highly recommend if you're looking for an embroidery editing software. It's a very powerful program and very convenient for you to use with all of your BX fonts. To continue running in express mode, you're just going to click OK. Now you have your software open. You're going to want to go to your fonts that you have downloaded and unzipped, and I'm going to show you the Whimsy Curls. So I'm going to double click and open my Whimsy Curls font and you will see that we provide all of the major machine formats in one download and you also will find a folder that is labeled BX. That is the folder that you want to open and this is where you will find all of the BX files. There's one file per size. We offer the Whimsy Curls font for instance in six sizes so you hold your control key I'm sorry, you're going to highlight the top file, hold your shift key go down and highlight the bottom and now you've got all of the sizes highlighted and all you need to do now is click and drag all of these into your software, release your button and you'll see that it is installing each size. It could not be any easier. And Brilliance has really made this so user friendly. And now we can get started and type a name. So what you want to do is go up to the top of the user interface and click on this letter A and that activates your um, lettering panel. So you're going to type your name, and I'm going to type my little girl Emily's name. And then I can choose my font. Now, once you have a whole bunch of fonts, a lot of designers will um, um, put some type of a code at the beginning so you know you'll have, for instance with me, you'll have DBJJ, so all the fonts you've purchased from Designs by Juju will be together, and same from other companies. So with Whimsy Curls, you're just going to choose which size you want, and I will choose the one and a half inch size for this. And there you go. You have everything's in the proper stitching order. Everything's on the proper baseline because we have gone in and mapped each font. And now you're ready to save your design. All you have to do to save it is to go up to your file and then click Save As and then browse to where you want to save your design. I'm going to save it in my embroidery designs and I am going to give it the name Emily and then you would save it as the stitch type you need. You can be PES, DST, etc. 
I'm going to save it as a Jeff file from my Genomi machine and click Save. And then I can take that Jeff file and send it to my Genomi machine and stitch out the name. I will try demonstrate one other font here. Under DBJJ, I'll go to 709. Click on my BX files. And I'm going to highlight them all for the hide and seek embroidery font and drag them into the user interface and just click OK as they're all installed. And then I will go to a new design, click the letter A, and here I'm going to uh, type the name of my little niece Aspen. And you will see if you scroll down, here is DBJJ709 and all the different sizes are available. So I'll use a two inch, and there's her name. And I'm gonna to go to File, Save As, and I'll save this as a, the name Aspen. And I'll save it as a PS file and save. And that is all there is to it. It's very, very simple. You will have these fonts in here. You can type them out. You don't have to merge letter after letter after letter and duplicate and rearrange. It's all right there for you. Um, again, I highly recommend if you are in the market for a design editing software, you really cannot go wrong with Embrilliance Essentials. Their support is fantastic. It's very powerful and there's just so many features available that you will soon be addicted. Now, come on over to our website, go under Alphabets, and you can have fun shopping and choose the fonts that you like to use with your Embrilliant software. Thanks for watching.